guys, so long time no see. I haven't put a video up in like, I don't even know. It's probably been like three weeks. Um, I've been sick for the past two weeks. I'm finally getting better. I had like a nasty cold, bronchitis, flu, th I don't even know what it was. They put me on antibiotics and I'm finally getting better. Unfortunately, you're still going to be able to hear it in my nose a little bit. I'm still nasally and I'm not 100% better yet, but I'm getting there. So I wanted to film a video to put up on my channel and these are one of my favorite ones to film so I thought I'd get started and it's like 8 o'clock at night and I'm trying to work with the lighting in here. It's not that great but hopefully it's okay for you guys. So I'm going to be filming a products I've used up video. Uh, I love doing these. I do them like bi-monthly I guess because I think the last one I did was maybe in February. So I'm going to get straight into the video and yeah. So the first product I have in my bag of empties is this pack of Garnier Garnier Smooth Remover Cleansing Tellets for Sensitive Skin. I did a whole blog post on this product. I am obsessed with these. They do an amazing job at taking your makeup off. They don't irritate my skin and I definitely will repurchase them. I think you can buy these at Walmart. I'm not really sure where else. Right now I'm trying the other ones that Garnier makes and they come in the green pack and I really like those too. But I highly recommend these and they run around $6 at your drugstore. Next, I have the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo. Um, this was okay. I wasn't a huge fan of this one particularly, so I don't think I'll repurchase it. I just wasn't a huge fan of how it felt in my hair, but I'm using other ones by this organics brand right now that I really like, so I don't think I'll repurchase this one. Next, I have a Bath & Body Works Ocean Citrus Antibacterial Foaming Hand Soap. I've had this sucker since I moved into my apartment. I've had it for about a year, and I finally used it up, so that's embarrassing. But I love the scent of this, and I definitely will repurchase it if I can find it at Bath & Body Works. I haven't been there in forever, so I think it might be time for me to make a little trip there. But this scent is really nice. <clears throat> it's a little bit different, but I really enjoyed it. Next, I have a bottle of the Amazing Grace um, Shower Gel by Philosophy. This is one of my favorite scents. I got this in a set for Christmas, and there's a little bit left in there, but I can't get it out. I am definitely going to repurchase this in the future when I run... Th I have a couple of Victoria's Secrets body washes I need to go through, and then I'll probably buy a full size of this, but I love it so much. It is just a very fresh, clean scent, and I highly recommend it. Next, I have a container of the Secret Outlast... Um, deodorant, I did not like this. I like the scent, but I did not like this packaging because I don't know if this one was just broken or what happened, but I actually had to push this thing up to get the deodorant to come up. I think it was supposed to twist, but it was broken. Um, so the packaging of this was really irritating and I will not purchase this again. I have another pack of makeup wipes. These are the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne Blemish Clearing Facial Towelettes. I did a little mini review of these in a past um, empties video that I did. They're okay. I don't think I'll repurchase them, but they're an, they're an all bright makeup wipe, especially if you like the more natural, cruelty-free products, but I don't think I'll buy these again in the future. I have a bottle of the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. This is supposed to moisturize dry skin, treat and help prevent pimples. This is my new favorite moisturizer. You buy this at the drugstore for like 3 or $4. The Clean and Clear is like always on sale. I'm currently using another bottle of this. I used to use the Sephora moisturizer, the one that comes in a little pot. That is like $20. This is way cheaper and it works pretty well for me. I really enjoy it and it lasts forever. So I would highly recommend this if you need a new moisturizer. Uh, this hasn't irritated my skin or caused me to broke out. It, ha it helps clear moist, uh, clear up acne, which I would say it does, but um, yeah, I really recommend it. I have a couple of makeup items in here on the bottom. I have a Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This is one of my favorite powders. You can buy this at the drugstore. I really like it. It does a nice job at keeping my makeup set and in place, even though I don't really wear foundation that much. I still wear this because it helps with the oil control and I would highly recommend it. I have a sample here of the Josie Marin Argan Oil Hair Serum. This is the anti-frizz treatment. I got this, I don't even remember what I got this in. I loved what this did to my hair. I put it in my hair at night when it was wet and the next morning when I combed it through my hair felt so soft. 
So I definitely would like to try buying an argan oil product in the future for my hair. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below, but I did enjoy this sample. I have the e.l.f. Zit Eraser. I don't know if this is the same packaging anymore because this is a really old thing of it, but this is what it looks like. So what this was, it was like a benzyl peroxide salicyl salicylic acid that you would use the little brush here on the end and you would put it on your acne all over your face. At first, I hated this product. I feel like I didn't do anything for my zits. But after I used it for a really long time, I noticed that in like three or four days, it would help clear up those really big pimples you would get that were all red. I definitely noticed that it <clears throat> reduced redness, and I will repurchase this in the future. I just have to go to the store and buy it again. So I have three things left. I have the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. I wasn't a huge fan of this little thing. You're supposed to use it on a daily basis. I felt like this was almost too gentle for my skin. I didn't really notice that it exfoliated very well, so I won't repurchase this. Last two, so these are exciting. First thing is the Maybelline Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in Keep Cool or Too Cool. Um, there's like a tiny stub of this left. First baby lips I've ever used up. I really, really like the Dr. Rescue line. I just like how this felt my lips. I like the menthol that they put in this for the scent. It didn't bother me or irritate my lips or anything, so I definitely recommend this and I will repurchase. And the last thing I have is the Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. I got this at Ulta and I used it up. I did enjoy this mascara. Towards the end it kind of got a little clumpy. But I think this was great for like the $3 I spent on it, so I would recommend it. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that my voice was a little froggy throughout it, but I'm hoping to get back in the swing of things soon. And if you have any video requests, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!